By the end of this video, you should be able to convert your voiceover to an AI voice in math.ai using the voice changer feature. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. If you don't have math, kindly use the link below to sign up for a free account and you can follow along with what I do. Now, this is math.ai and it's an awesome AI voice generator and you can use it to convert your text to speech or even convert already pre-made or pre-recorded audio, let's say your audio file or home recordings ATC into an AI voice. That's what I'm going to show you. Let's click on studio to open up the studio interface where we are going to do or where all the magic is going to happen. Now, uh, once we're in our backend, we have my projects, templates, my account ATC, but we're interested in this uh, center position. Let's click on create a new project. And once we do that, we're going to have a, back, a bunch of options here. Uh, where you can change the title. You can always change this later on. Let's call it sample. Sample audio. And because we're working with audio, we are going to use the audio option. If you were working on video, you could have chosen the video option. So let's go back to audio. And there are a bunch of uh, pre-made or selections available. But let's say we start blank. Click on that and then click on create project. Now let everything load up. And then we're going to start doing what we need to do, convert our audio into an AI voice. So for that particular audio, it's this one. And if I play it a little bit, can you edit a PDF file in Canva? The simple answer is yes. And this is why. Now, from just listening to that, that's my voice. Let's assume you do not want to use your voice or you don't want people to know you're the one who's speaking in your videos. Then you can actually use math ai's voice changer feature to convert your voice into an ai voice so let me show you click on voice changer once i click on that you can upload video or audio to get started now drag and drop the files here or you can select and at the time of recording this video it supports mp3 and mp4 click on select a file and then navigate to the folder with the file that you want to work with so let's go with this one it's a shorter one click on open. Once I click on open, it's going to start transcribing. Now, you can select the language used in the audio and confirm to continue. By default, it's set to English United States. And uh, you have a bunch of options available for you. For example, you have from Arabic, Algeria, ATC, all the way to uh, Turkish, ATC. So what I'll do, although this English Kenya, uh, there's this one for English Kenya, I'll not use that, but I'll go with the default English United States and click yes, continue. Now it's uploading our file. Let's just give it a couple of seconds so that it uploads the audio file and then automatically starts transcribing our audio file into text because the way math AI works is that it uses the text available to generate the voiceovers that are available or that you need for that particular text. So let's just give it a couple of seconds for it to automatically transcribe our audio into text for us to actually change now my voiceover into an AI voice. Now the upload is complete and you now have a bunch of options uh, that you can work with. So uh, this, uh, this option that is called transcription mode. You are now in transcription mode. You can cancel import or save. Uh, next up, you can click inside here to make any edits that you want to make to this particular transcript. Now, I'll just actually change something like Canva and this was like a question. Now, I'll not make many edits right inside here. But what we're going to do now is just going to click on save. Click on save. And this will now get us to the interface where we can actually make the edits that we want. We can actually even play it to, by default, it picks the voice that is there. Knit. Let's play going to generate the audio. Let's give it a couple of seconds. It's building preview. Let's play. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? The simple answer is yes, and this is why. If a PDF is editable, you can edit it inside Canva. So by listening to that, we've converted this particular audio or now a transcript into an AI voice. Really, really quick and really, really awesome to
to listen to. So if you have a target audience uh, that will not probably understand your accent, then you can do that. I actually get people tell me on this YouTube channel that my videos, I do have an accent, but uh, I believe I'm doing my best and English is that language to me. And if you feel like you're bothered by that, you can use AI voice. I'm not bothered by that, uh, but this is giving you an option. So you can choose a voice from this particular section, click on this, and then you can look for like maybe Tyrell. Uh, let's just generate audio for this particular block and listen to how it sounds uh, with, our, with, our, with our sample right here, because you can actually preview with what he has, the sample he has, before you actually uh, start off uh, generating these particular audio clips. So we're almost done. It's generating audio and it's done. So we can actually play. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? The simple answer is yes. And this is why. If a PDF is editable, you can edit it inside Canva. Now, I feel that if you're going for that kind of look and feel, this is also a good option. Now, if you like what you see here, just click on these three dots, apply settings to project, and this is going to change as well. So everything, apply to project, and all the voices are now going to change for the different blocks of text you have. And then you can just click on this play button to generate the audio for all these other sections uh, so that once you're ready to produce or export your audio file, then you don't have now you don't miss any section or lack to generate audio for that particular block. So let's just give this section a couple of seconds. It's going to be done in a minute. So here we go. I've not made any tweaks to the text uh, because I feel we might have maybe some transcription errors, but I just decided to just go with what we have right inside here. So we are almost done generating the audio. We had 50%. Let's just give it a couple of seconds. It's done as well. So if you're satisfied with all this, now click on export. And we want to export the voiceover, a single file, MP3 medium quality mono click on download it's going to actually prepare your files exporting and then once it's done you can click on download so let's just give it a couple of seconds we can play this can you edit a pdf file in canva so let's go to our folder right click uh, let's say add to windows media player list minimize let's play the simple answer is yes, and this is why. Let's go to my audio. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? The simple answer is yes, and this is why. Looks good, sounds good. Also, the voiceover we've created. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? Is really awesome, especially depending on your target audience. But simply put, that is how you can use the voice changer feature in math.ai to convert your voiceovers, home recordings, etc. into an AI voice in math.ai. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.